Me and Ma Crabapple just got back from Washington, D.C. I've been wanting to go up there all my life and see that place, and we finally got to do it. Saw a lot of interesting things, too. Saw Orville and Wilbur Wright's first airplane, went in that Smith Brothers Museum, saw lots of things. We stayed in this place one night called the Watergate Hotel. Now, for y'all that ain't familiar with the Watergate Hotel, that's that place where President Nixon and all them folks got in so much trouble a few years ago. They was tapping folks' phones and bugging in on them, listening to lots of stuff they hadn't been, ought to have been listening to, and it got them all in trouble. Well, anyhow, we were staying there, and we went to bed and turned off the light, and Ma Crabapple was laying there. She said, you don't reckon there's any of them bugs still in this place, do you? Well, now, a fella being a sheriff like me gets something like that on his mind. I couldn't go to sleep, so I got up and I turned on that light and I searched that room. I went over it from top to bottom, yes, sir, and I found something. It was a little round thing. It was hid right under the rug, right in the middle of the room. Had four screws holding it there where it wouldn't move. I told my crab, I said, Shh. I said, don't say a word. I went out to my pickup truck and got my toolbox and come in, I got my screwdriver and I took that thing loose and wrapped it up in that extra blanket to have up in that closet and shut it up in the chest of drawers. If it was a bug, I didn't want them hearing what we were saying. Well, anyhow, we went on to sleep and the next morning there was a knock on the door. I went to the door and it was a hotel manager. He wanted to know if we had a good night's sleep. I said, we did. He said, well, there was a disturbance in the hotel last night. I said, what happened? He said, in the room down below us, the Chandelier fell on them folks. I sure was glad we weren't staying in that room. Yes, sir.